Hello everyone, my name is Brady from Amtrol and today I want to answer a common question that we get is what is a thermal expansion tank and what is it utilized for? So first I want to start off with is what is thermal expansion? So when water is within a heating system, as you add energy in, it's going to begin to expand and water in itself is an incompressible liquid, which means that if it has nowhere to go, it's going to begin to build pressure. Typically prior to 1990, this was never an issue and thermal expansion tanks weren't all that common. Because what was allowed to happen was, if municipalities didn't have a backflow preventer or a check valve on their water meter, that expansion would just be pushed back out into the street and there'd be no noticeable build of pressure. However, since 1990, those municipalities have been installing those backflow preventers within their systems on both residential and commercial properties, which now turned an open loop system into a closed loop system. And that's where the thermal expansion tank comes into play. So when Amtrol invented the thermal expansion tank, we were trying to solve that problem. We wanted to give that expanded water a place to go. So within the thermal expansion tank, we're going to have a few components I want to take a look at today. The first is, right here at the bottom of the tank is going to be a precharge pressure, which is an air charge. What that air charge is going to do is it's going to allow that cushion of air to absorb the expanded water and maintain safe pressures within the system. That way we don't damage our appliances such as the water heater or any other appliances in the home such as dishwashers and refrigerators that are also susceptible to that high pressure. So when the water heater turns on and it begins to heat and then expansion occurs, that water is going to be pushed into the tank, which is going to move our diaphragm down. The diaphragms are also referred to as bladders in the industry, but what they do is they separate the water volume from that air pressure I just spoke about. When that water is introduced into the tank, that is what is your expanded water that would normally either be pushed out into the street, which no longer has a place to go. This expansion tank is the place for that expanded water to go to help maintain those safe pressures. After the water has been introduced into the tank, if we were to open up a faucet, turn on a shower head, or any other safe place for that pressure to dissipate to, that precharge pressure will push that diaphragm back up, sending the water back into your system so we're not draining any water out, we're not wasting any energy, that water is still being utilized for your home. So that is how the expansion tank works, and that's the important part that it plays within your system. If you have any additional questions about your Thermex role, feel free to give our tech line a call with the phone number on your screen, or you can visit our website at amtrail.com for further resources. Thank you very much for watching today. We'll see you next time.